Alright, so I have been in this process of building and launching products because of course it's the AI era at the moment and people get a great advantage of shipping your products way faster to a greater audience. But as someone who lives in India, I have to be really honest about something that bothers me quite a bit. And it's the fact that launching MVPs in India isn't quite easy as compared to if you had to do it in the US or in the Europe. Now, there are multiple reasons regarding this. Now, as someone who's able to build products quite fast due to all the tools available these days, the tiny business related parts is what slows down the entire shipping of a product that users can properly use. Now, I want to dive into a few quick points or issues that I have faced in this process. And I will start with the most annoying one. And that is nothing but accepting payments, especially when your business is registered in India. Now, this is a very big issue. Now, it's definitely easy accepting payments if you are trying to accept payments from Indians itself, because for that, you could easily just use Razorpay and integrate it into your website. And trust me, integrating with Razorpay is pretty easy and you can collect payments in INR. But the main issue comes with if you have launched a product and you have a global audience for this and you want to accept payments in different currencies, for example, dollars and so on. Now, this is where the difficult part comes in. So I will open this Reddit thread over here. You can see people, there are a lot of people who face this issue when it comes to accepting payments in India as a SaaS product. So I am building a product which needs to be able to accept subscription payments from multiple countries. So far, I've tried Razorpay, PayU, to check out PayPal, Stripe. Now, Stripe is a great option, but Stripe isn't onboarding any Indian customers anymore. And that's really sad. Like previously, Stripe used to, and it used to be very easy to accept payments from foreign countries. It used to be extremely seamless and Stripe used to charge a very small transaction fee. So used to get to keep most of the profits, but now Stripe isn't onboarding any Indian customers. So that's one issue. And there's PayPal. In PayPal onboarding was smooth, but, all, but almost finished integrating it and then realized guest checkout, which is the ability to pay without a PayPal account is not supported in India and many EU countries. And this is again, a huge issue. So with PayPal, first of all, they charge a bit higher transaction fee which is an issue, but if it at least gives you an option to collect payments from a global audience, then something's better than nothing. But the ability to pay without a PayPal account, that is a huge deal. Like not every user who comes to your application, they not only just have to sign up while paying for your application, they also have to have a PayPal account. Now that is not a seamless integration because they'll have to go to PayPal, create an account, link their bank account and so on, rather than just being able to pay the amount directly. And this issue is where a lot of drop-offs can be caused. And there's to check out and pay you pay you claims that it has international payments, but apparently their customer support is pretty bad. They take a lot of time to onboard their verification systems, take a lot of time to identify if you're a legitimate business or not. And all these things really push you back in this race of building and shipping products. Now, Razorpay takes around one to two weeks for onboarding because I have also used Razorpay for onboarding, but Razorpay does onboard their users pretty quickly, but apparently getting accepted to the international payments criteria is also not that easy. And I've also heard that Razorpay also uses PayPal behind the scenes to collect international payments. So we can just check that out. Razorpay international payments. I'll just go to this link. Let's say accept payments in international currencies through international bank accounts and our, and our payments made via cards issued by foreign banks. So Razorpay allows foreign non-Indian non -Indian businesses to accept payments from Indian customers without any additional paperwork registration. This is for foreign people trying to request payment from Indian customers. Now you can see here, if I go down, it says over here for individuals, if you're an individual such as a freelancer, you must integrate PayPal to accept international payments. So you have to have PayPal for Razorpay to accept international payments, at least what it seems from over here. Now. If I go down here and check the comments and see people have expressed their aggression saying this is the fate of all Indian businesses right now who collect payments outside of India. After 15 years of gateway been, being available, we still have no established player to close this gap. And also the sad part is during the COVID time when I was trying to launch products, I realized that a lot of these gateways uh, like Razorpay, Cash Free and all of them, they even weren't onboarding any users at all for a long, long time. Like I think it went on for like a year or so. So for a year, they weren't onboarding any new users because of some RBI issues. Now that is in itself such a big issue. Like how are you anyway going to accept payments if anytime in the future, 
RBI can come up and obstruct your ability to integrate payments into your application and completely destroy your business making capability. Now this is a pretty big issue that I think needs solving in India when it comes to accepting payments from, from global countries. So because sometimes you make certain products which are more in demand in foreign countries as compared to India and it's always said and I think it's also true that people in India do not pay that easily. But, but a foreign audience are more open to paying and they're, more, and they're more open to trying different things out and seeing if it works for their use case. So that also brings us to our next point, which is nothing but trust issues or basically trust deficit for new tools. So Indian users and businesses are usually very skeptical of new products, especially from unknown brands. And they often also wait until a product is well established or backed by a known figure. So basically, the customers may expect an all-in-one polished solution right from the MVP stage. But they're unwilling to pay for early versions. So in India, it's generally like you have to build the entire thing usually with all the important features at one go if you really want a user to turn into a paying customer. And there's also the fact that Indian users rarely give detailed feedback and they may silently churn or ghost you instead of helping you improve the MVP. So, so if I had to add one more point over here, it would be nothing but lack of feedback structure. So these three points along with many more are some of the reasons why building or launching an MVP quickly in India is really isn't easy. But disregarding the last two points, I think the biggest issue is nothing but the point number one, which we discussed, that is accepting payment in India internationally, or basically accepting international payments in India. Now this, the first point, accepting international payments in India is I think the biggest issue when it comes to launching and shipping MVPs and getting a good insight upon if your product is really catering to a global audience or just locally within your own country. The other two factors can always be accounted for and changed and be polished based on sales and marketing. But the first point is what you really need to even drive your business. Because if you don't have numbers to showcase, if you don't have the number of people who are purchasing your product and generating revenue for your business, then there's no infrastructure on which your business can stand upon. So this part over here, accepting additional payments in India is really a big issue. And I'm surprised that up until now, there is no good aggregator that that accounts for both local and international payments in India. And with the current AI generation, with the pace at which people are shipping products, foreign countries, especially in the US, people have a huge advantage because we could think of similar products that they are building, but we would have a difficult time keeping our business afloat due to this main concern of being unable to accept international payments and and backing our business with a solid infrastructure with the revenue that comes in so yeah if you are someone who's going to someone who's thinking to launch an mvp i really suggest you look into these issues especially this one over here and you figure out what you really need to do maybe also try to email stripe or ask them that you are a legit entrepreneur and that stripe is really good for your business use case and that you could also benefit stripe a lot through your product because you have a lot of users registered and then maybe they might let you in to their product specifically and allow you to integrate Stripe to your platform and accept international payments easily. Otherwise, you will have to bear a good transaction fee or longer onboarding times. So yeah, let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. And if you found the video insightful, drop a like and subscribe for more.